There are a surprising amount of choices you can make when you're selecting a cover tech wheel for your lightsaber hilt. One of the main choices is you'll choose between a curved one like this or a flat one. And what's nice about the curved one is it fits to the curvature of the hilt very well. So it, it'll really kind of blend in more seamlessly with the hilt versus if you have the flat one, there'll be a little bit of a gap between the hilt and the cover tech wheel. Another thing you'll look at is the material. So this is an aluminum cover tech wheel and this is a plastic one. And you know, metal metal is always a little more substantial, right? So that's something you might want. There's a variety of metals available from different companies too. There's copper and brass and aluminum. I think those are probably three of the most common metals you'll see. But now if you do have the the hole for your uh, cover tech wheel in kind of a strange spot on the hilt that's not uh, it's not uniform, it doesn't have a uniform curve like this, then that would be a reason that you may want to have a flat cover tech wheel. So I'm going to use this hilt as an example. Now I know this is for the blade retention screw, but if I had my uh, screw hole for the cover tech wheel in kind of a weird spot like this, you can see, you know, maybe lower on the hilt, you can see how it wouldn't really, this curved one wouldn't really fit because the hilt design, it, it's much more, it's less consistent. Whereas if I have the flat one, that'll fit on there kind of a lot better. Oh, how about I put it the right way? Now some of the flat ones are a little bit cheaper too, especially if they're plastic. So that's when you're looking at cost, typically the material will make a cover tech wheel cheaper and more expensive, but even it seems like some of the flat ones are a bit cheaper, but not always. So anyway, that's just kind of a quick look at cover tech wheels and what you'd maybe be looking for.